feeling arriving in Boston. I grew up here. Well, in a suburb anyway. I have lots of memories from when I was a kid exploring the big city with my parents. My first flight ever to Orlando was from Logan Airport. My first international flight to London was from here as well. So much is the same from back then. So much is different. Now when I'm here, I'm a visitor. It's a strange mixture of old and new, familiar and different. I know this place, and yet I don't. The voices remind me of my youth, but they also remind me of TV shows and movies that somehow love to try to fake the accent and rarely succeed. People not from here think they're the first person ever to say pack the car to a local. I somehow escaped Boston without the stereotypical accent, though admittedly for years I did say up the stairs, and I still say wicked, but that's just a good word. this stop was family. That probably doesn't surprise you though. Most of the stops on this trip were to see someone or some ones I cared about. My dad retired up to a cottage he and my mom built before I was born. A few years ago he remodeled it to live in year round. Seeing him and my mom and my fuzzy brother Booker was the best way to wind down this return to adventure. He eased my way back into my other reality and it was like so much of this trip, both familiar and different. So much of my dad's house looks exactly like it did when I was a kid. A lot of it is new, but I remember those parts from previous visits. I drove here last year as a turnaround point for my 10,000 mile Miata road trip. That was during the summer. Now, mid-autumn, the leaves had started to change, the weather was brisk, and the air as crisp as I remember from my youth.
I was here this week, though, for an even bigger reason. My dad's 80th birthday. That is a milestone worth celebrating. I'd have come here regardless, of course, but there's nothing like a big birthday to make a great occasion. For his birthday, my dad wanted to drive down to Boston and walk around, like we did when I was a kid. Time changes all things. In Iceland, it's the very landscape getting cut by water and grown by lava. Here, it's the endless march of, let's call it, progress. Old buildings fixed up or torn down, new structures obscuring or replacing old ones. Both my parents worked in this city decades ago, and it was a delight seeing them take it all in, the past superimposed onto the vivid present. I wasn't immune to that either, of course. I remember Quincy Market ending in the loud and dreary shadows underneath Interstate 93. The Big Dig buried that underground, and now you can see out to the north end, only a quiet park in between. Or the approach to the New England Aquarium, once a wide open slope to a beautiful brutalist building, now walled in by a huge theater and swoopy glass and steel improvements to the classic look. Time might march on, but there are few styles in architecture more hated in the current era than mid-century brutalism. Lastly, one of my family's longest running traditions, clam chowder, sorry, clam chowder at the Union Oyster House. And of course, some time with Mayor Curley.
my time, anyway, was winding down. It was time to say so long to my mom and dad, and Booker, of course, for one last flight west. Appalachia, the Plains, and the Rockies, approaching the vast cyberpunk sprawl of Los Angeles. Lights and streets like circuit boards stretching from the desert to the ocean. Once again, back in the comfort of home, of in and out and sunshine, convertibles and burritos, time to catch up on sleep, on work, and with friends, to relax. That is, until the itch to explore starts again. I already know what that next adventure is going to be, and I can't wait to share it with you. I want to give some last thanks. First, to all my amazing friends. I love you all and I cherish whatever time we can spend together. To my parents, I love you both. And lastly, to my dear friend Carolina, who you didn't see in these videos, but was a crucial part in each one. We met during that first year of my epic travels, and she's currently my roommate. But more importantly, she's a professional video editor. So if you wondered why this season was so seamless, and so much better made than the previous season, that's entirely her. But anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, that really does help. See you next time.